Hey everybody, this is Chloe. I'm an instructor with Brooklyn Boatworks and today I'm going to show you how to find the cardinal directions in your room. So the cardinal directions are north, south, east, and west, and they're always the same, right? You might have seen a compass or a compass rose before, and we can actually find them without going outside. We can find them right here in our houses and map our room um, according to which direction is which. In order to do this, you're going to need a piece of paper, a pencil, a pen, an eraser, a compass, or if you don't have a compass, you can use the compass app on any smartphone, a ruler, and a tape measure. Let's get started. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a technical drawing of the room that we're in, and I'll show you how to do that. To measure my room, I realized that I can actually only hold about four feet of this at a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from one corner and I'm just going to put my finger there when I get to the end, right? So four feet, four plus four is eight feet and eight plus four is 12. So it's about 12 feet wide. And I have a little notebook to write this down. 12 wide. Next up, I am going to do the wall with the window in it. So what I just did is I just noted down each one and I kind of indicated which wall was which so that I wouldn't get confused. And then I did some simple math. So 12 feet at a scale where one foot equals one half an inch. What you do is you just take everything and divide it in half. So 12 feet, half of 12 is six, becomes six inches, right? Boom. And then I'm going to note that that is the attic side because I don't want to get confused. My next one is 11 and a half feet. So that becomes five and three quarter inches. I'm gonna square it up and shoop. And as you probably remember from Boatworks class, it's good to hold that ruler down. All right. Okay, so now I have my rough shape and I'm just going to note down door is here, window is here, okay. Now, I'm going to draw an X through the middle of mine so that I can find the center of the room. So this should be the midpoint. So I have my center roughly here. And next up, I'm going to go stand in the center of the room and get out my compass. I have my compass right here, and I'm gonna see if I can turn to face south. So if I get just one direction, I should be able to figure out where all the other directions are from there. So, ready? Where's south? So it looks like south is right here. It's basically exactly the corner where the lamp is, which means that north is the opposite corner, which is where the plants are hanging. So I can now note down south and north. And then now that I've found that, I know from looking at the compass, right? That south is always at this angle to west. So that means that west is the door side and east is that corner over there, right? So I'm gonna note this down on my drawing. Just using this compass and this extremely simple drawing, I have now been able to figure out exactly where I am. So this is actually the same technique that architects use even when they're designing like a giant skyscraper, they still need to do a technical drawing and theirs look a little bit more complicated than this, but it's the same basic idea. You need to draw out how wide everything is, what direction everything is facing, and then also stuff like where the doors and windows are. So if you want to keep mapping, I highly encourage you to. This is a really useful skill. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and we'll see you again soon. See ya.